Your efforts have landed us here, my faithful friend. The temple is complete, and we are about to embark upon our greatest exploit. For now, relax, and watch as my net runners dance through the web of cyberspace. Once inside, the world is at my fingertips. Begin. Welcome to the Global Defense Initiative Orbital Defense Matrix. Angry political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving the most famous address in the world, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C.'s renowned White House. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 600 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble unearthing 12 more bodies from what was once the seat of Western democracy. U.S. President Robert Fielding, safe at Camp David at the time of the explosion, reiterated his support of the U.N. statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Fielding labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing accident. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea how security access for GDI's top-secret organization